We want to reduce the individual income tax. Let's talk about decreasing, decreasing the tax rate and expanding the base. Uh, we want to re reduce that top rate from 6 uh, to 5.9 percent, reduce the number of tax brackets from 6 to 4. Uh, the old rate uh, brackets were set up back in the 1960s. You all played with it a little bit in 2005. But the, the bottom line and the good news, and you can see it on the next page, is that along with the proposed EITC that I'm going to talk about, as well as Kentucky's existing family size credit, this plan includes a whole harmless provision to ensure that no taxpayer, I say it again, no taxpayer sees a rate increase. And in fact, the overwhelming number of taxpayers receive a benefit. You can see the way on, on the chart, the, the way it's, it's currently set up in terms of the rate structure, and you see the rate structure of uh, the w way we are proposing it. Folks who make $10,000 or less because of the family size credit, because of the EITC, and because of what we have in the uh, a proposed bill, the Hold Harmless Clause, uh, it literally insulates uh, all the folks in that category from paying any taxes whatsoever. As you can see in the next, next slide, the middle income folks are really uh, the ones who receive the most benefit. Um, these numbers that you see, 555,000 and 10,000 or less, those are people that file taxes. Uh, the same thing when you get to the 868, people who who, who uh, file an adjusted gross income of 10,001 up to 50,000, then you see 50,001 up to 100,000, and you see 100,000. These are tax returns that are filed. We have 1.8 million Kentuckians who file tax returns. And this is the breakdown that shows you the, the effect of what we are proposing and those that will feel the effect in a positive way.